looks like it's going to rain out here. And um, I'm going to talk a little bit about, and I don't like to use these words because these are words that happened probably in the last 20 years that, um, you know, with the advent of the government and the system trying to get everybody in a state of feeling of dis-ease, of unease, like feeling always that there's um, something wrong and that type of thing. And um, um, I don't even know where to start, but I talked a little bit and I'm going to use these words or I'm going to use my advice and use words that mean those words <laughs> without using them. I'm going to talk a little bit about pressure and um, a little bit about pressure and perhaps um, feeling a little bit of trepidation about situations that may be may may not be on the up and up and i'm talking about this because in the past okay in the past two weeks had some really odd things that seem very coincidental happen now in the past week um had some things that were um with just various instances, like three instances regarding the police probably in the last week, okay? Um, and I've had one instance prior to this that was very alarming, like like last year sometime. So I'm going to tell you about these instances. Um, now, what happened just recently, as y'all know, the guy that owns that house, he creeps me out a little bit. <laughs> you know, at first he didn't because, again, you look at people and you try to look at them as, you know, based on the experiences that you had. And I hadn't had or had a serious situation that was so serious where I had to acknowledge that, yo, this person might be fucked up. But, um, so anyhow, the situation with this, that, um, this scares me so bad. And I'm behind on my vlogging too. But so I was in the room and I had decided I was going to take a break from my cleaning and organizing and watch a movie because I had to deal with a couple of things that are stressful to me. Whenever there's a situation where somebody's supposed to do something that there's, that, for example, like if a job owes me money and um, they're just like, Oh, you know, they try not to pay you and you need that money. That's one. And then another is if somebody just outright lies on you or tries to make things seem other than they are for no good reason. That's another. Now, this is the situation. So I was in there chilling and I was like, okay, after this movie, I'm going to get up and do whatever. And I knew I had to tackle these tasks that I had to tackle. So... As I'm um, sitting there, I'm hearing all this yelling. And I'm thinking, okay, and it sounds like a feminine guy's voice. So I'm thinking maybe that guy and the girl, you know, they're having some argument about something stupid, you know? So I'm like, okay, I couldn't hear the whole thing because I had the fan going and um, the video going. But then I was like, okay, let me hear what this is all about because even though. I'm enjoying this peace quiet to myself, you know, whatever craziness happens here could potentially affect me. So, you know, and I wanted to make sure that that's what it was, just an argument, you know, over something stupid and somehow, like, that not, that there was no way to somehow through some crazy situation that, you know, I'll get thrown into the mix of all of that. So, like I said, I'm listening. And, um... This is just, this whole thing creeps me out. Like I said, God is telling me I just need to get up out of here. I don't know how I'm going to do that without money, but I do need to go. Um, so what ends up happening is, you know, as I turn it down, after a while I am able to make out the voices. And it's the man that owns the place. 
and he's yelling. And at first I'm thinking maybe he's on the phone because he was supposed to go meet somebody earlier during the day. So I hear him yelling that, um, well, something where you could have said. First I heard the yelling and it wasn't as loud. Then it got louder and he was like, well, you could have told me you had all day to tell me, you know, such and such and such. So I figured maybe he's yelling, maybe he met some female <laughs> and she stood him up, you know, or something stupid like that, you know, and he was mad because he waited forever. That would have been okay. I can deal with that. Or if it had been the girl's boyfriend, them yelling about, you know, something stupid, maybe they went to the store and he appeared to, he looked a little bit too long in one direction and some female happened to be in that direction. You know, I can deal with that. But then what it comes out is I hear the older lady that lives there yelling about um i hear the older lady that lives there saying something about i don't know what the whole thing was but i heard something about well i'll clean it and then he was like no i clean it and then she was just like no i need to clean it and of course he wasn't budging on that and you know what's going to snatch it from him so you know i came out because i want to know what the hell is going on you know and normally i would just mind my business but being that he has talked to me in a way that was crazy before I wanted to know, was he just talking crazy to this female too? <laughs> or, you know, was there a valid reason? Even though there's no valid reason for you to talk to anybody like that. And, you know, there, there really wasn't because he could have just said, well, look, you can, um, you know, don't do that, even though it's common sense. But So I was just like, what is going on? And, you know, she was mouthing high on his back, I hate him or something. And she was like, he's cruel and whatever he is, he's a nasty bastard. <laughs> and whatever he gets, he deserves. But that's not the way the world operates. The people that deserve bullshit don't get bullshit. That's just the way it goes. Because they put out so much bullshit that there's, oh, there's a stool here that I really could use. Yeah. Okay. See, I like stuff like this. I think that um, I might have to take this back and use it. I'll come back to get it on my way back if somebody else doesn't pick it up because I've pulled it out now. But I'll come back and get it on the way back. Hopefully whoever lived there ain't mad at me. It's trash to them. But um, I did take it out, but I'm going to um, come and get it when I'm on my way back. But um, anyhow, so, so yeah, so, you know, I came out and I'm like, because I want to know, is he... <laughs> just deciding that he's gonna act crazy on her too without a reason because if that's the case then you know and at first I didn't want to because I was like I don't want to get involved or whatever because I already feel a certain type of way because the way he spoke to me you know had nothing to do with me but he spoke to me all crazy you know and so but what it turns out was that she found two kittens or whatever and she already has I don't know what the whole situation is I know that she before had three cats in her room <laughs> he has a cat the other girl has a dog. And then when I came back last night, there was a huge dog in the living room. So, so um, yeah, so what ends up happening is, um, I need to get out of here because it's just this weird shit. But so anyhow, what ends up happening is that She says that she bought two little kitties and she put them in this other room. Now, for me, I have a teeny like five by five <laughs> space, but not, I'm exaggerating. It's probably like, probably like, probably like eight by eight, something like that, or, but no bigger than that, seriously. And, um, you know, and then a little, you know, counter blessings. But anyhow, so she's like, and the police are here too what is going on like everywhere i go the police are there now i haven't done anything wrong but i know from experience that that means absolutely nothing like you know what is really going on you know because let me tell you so the police are here now um there is somebody in the car i think but i'm gonna tell you like it's just so creepy because there's nothing there's not even anything over here, you know? So there is a cop in the car and there's nothing over here. Now, this police officer, he sat in front of, um, he sat in front of, okay, this is why it's disturbing to me. 
Like, I want to go ask, but I'm scared to ask. I guess I shouldn't be scared. Or maybe I should be, but I don't know. I don't, I'm not the kind of person that likes, um, I don't like to be afraid. So if I see something, I like to kind of figure it out. Now, I'm going to tell y'all real quickly before all this happens that I was about to leave the house in a cop car. I don't know if it's this one. So always look at the police car number when you see one. But um, it was sitting directly in front of the house, coincidentally, like when I was going out. And so then, and now I'm waving and he's looking at me like with gruffness and fear. So I want to put my hands up, but I don't know if that is going to be. Hello. Is it okay if I walk closer? Because I want to ask you something. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure everything was okay because I've seen quite a few cops. Well, not a few, but every now and then I see cops that are just like sitting. And well, no, not here. Okay, I can feel the energy. No, everything's okay. But sometimes it scares me, like when I see a police car just sitting. And so, huh? Because it's like if nothing's going on and a police car is just sitting there, it makes me feel fearful. And so, because now I'm learning. Because, and so I'm the kind of person if I'm scared of something, I go ask. I'm out here sometimes. Now, let me tell you, and perhaps I shouldn't share this with you. I'm going to tell you, one morning I came out early for a walk. It was like 5.30 or 6 in the morning. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. No, All right. So it was like 5.30 or 6 in the morning. And I know the world is not a perfect place. There's bad cops and good cops. So I wasn't walking on this street, but I was walking on Ivy Lane. And sometimes, like, if I see, like, the day before that somebody may have put out, like, stuff for the bulk pickup that I like, What'll happen is the next morning early, I'll go get it, <laughs> okay? And so I had saw something the day before, and so that morning I got up early to go get it. And I was starting to walk across the street, and I saw this big black unmarked truck, like the paint was real dull, and it drove up on the sidewalk. Like, like I was here, and it drove up, like literally almost hit me, you know? And so at first I thought maybe, you know, sometimes the young people, they, they're being fresh and things like that. So, but I was like, gosh, this person almost hit me. So of course I didn't say anything, but I, you know, came off of the sidewalk onto the street. And so after I was where I felt like I was safe and the car had come to a stop, you know, I kind of looked back because I wanted to see who was this crazy person. So being that it's a predominantly black neighborhood, I thought like a big black guy was going to jump out. No, it was an, a white police officer dressed in full uniform that dropped out of this, jumped out of this rundown car. And, you know, he started like digging over whatever gate or fence that was over there. Now, the reason that that scared me is one, this person almost hit me. Two, if he had hit me and then took off and left, people would have blamed it on a black guy because I'm black. But the thing about it is that they would have said it was a black person because and I assumed it too. You know what I'm saying? And it's just the fallacy of the way we think. But it wasn't. It was totally something different. And then you know, you try to rationalize and be like, well, maybe these people did something bad and he needed to sneak up on them. But even so, if that was the case, I mean, there's a human being standing right there. He could have quietly went around the block because that would have gave him time something. to... You could have said, hey, you almost hit me. No, because then do you watch the news? <laughs> that's why I was... So that's, I don't even... That's the hard, bad thing about it. I don't really watch it. Yeah, it's all around. What happens? We've had people before, you know, and so... That's why it's scary to even come, but it's scarier not to know. Well, you know what I'm you, saying? And so. You've been in this area a long time? You grew up in oh, this No, not didn't Where grow up here. It, that doesn't matter. But the thing about it is that it's just in general. You know what I'm saying? Wherever it is, you know? And it, I'm glad that you're talking. Maybe that's your job and you're comfortable doing that. But you could reach a police officer and maybe you want to ask a question and that makes them nervous. You know, so it's scary. It scares me that this man almost hit me, and you know, and it was a police officer in an unmarked vehicle. We're and people just like everybody else, we make mistakes. Sometimes we get into accidents. We hit other cars by mistake, just like any normal citizen driving their cars, and they get into an accident. Have you been doing I mean, this? You know, yeah. I don't want to say the bad word, but shit happens. You know. Yeah. It's not on purpose. It's, it's called an accident. Maybe generally, maybe he. I'm not trying to cover for that particular officer, but maybe he just didn't see you it's early in the morning, dark. And he didn't have his, and, and maybe so, because he didn't have his lights on, because he was trying to be, you know, sleep. Right, all, you know, the windows are dark. 
his car's not hitting because right here, if I'm going slow in a parking lot, I've already been this close to hitting somebody. And I'm just, you know, no, no foot on the gas, just losing, you know, like just the speed if it goes you know, to five miles an hour. Mm -hmm. I'm right here, I can't see anything. And the Walmart, like you said, I can cause the Walmart a lot, so I'll go drive around the parking lot. Mm -hmm. I'm not paying attention, this block's my whole view. I'm, like I said, I'm trying to give the person a choose, but, you know, things happen. And if it I, I've had it before, hey, you almost hit me. Sorry, I didn't see you. You're scared to say that because I've seen, like, not even, it might not even be police. I saw a guy almost get hit on a bicycle, but this was by a regular civilian person. And he said, Hey, you almost hit me. The guy tried to run him over. Literally, then try to. There, there are some. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, What? I don't know if you're new to the area, you know, you've been in this area, but you, you, you will see vehicles, mark up full vehicles in this area. Because I really wasn't expecting that. We do get a lot know? of calls here. There's a lot of domestics, fives, theft, mm -hmm. uh, things that are. Just regular in this area. And it tells you a lot about perception too, because it shows you how faulty it can be. Because I would have sworn up and down that a big black guy was gonna get out of, you know, dressed really like saggy pants and a big shirt was gonna get out of the car. Totally, totally the opposite, you know. And so, but but I want to say this, um, and I'll let you go because I know you, you know, want to relax before something crazy happens. But no, I'm fine. just, I'm just ready to go. yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. <laughs> okay. See, like a normal person, you're working and you're going home. But I just want to say thank you because it helps. Because, you know, I think even though people don't say it, sometimes people are scared, you know, of the police. And, and that's the perception. The way I feel about it is, and that is just my personal experience. Mm -hmm. People that don't like the uniform, and they're going to take it out of me, but they don't know me, and I know them, I don't take it personally. They hate the uniform. That's me their perception and you know the media how they portray us and a lot of things but the people that really don't like us it's because they're doing something wrong and we're catching them that's not true because you know, i'm scared to death of police but i haven't done anything wrong it's just that i've seen you know with my eyes you know it hasn't happened to you huh it's never happened to you i just told you an experience that happened to me you know this from the party from yeah from yeah. that and from what i've seen you know and there's people that are nice like you because whenever I'm scared, I come and ask because that makes me feel more comfortable, you know. But I've never seen anything good, <laughs> literally. I mean, except for this, you know. I, like I, the only thing I can tell, and it's like I said, I, again, like I said, it's my, my personal those that hate work, you represent, you talk about me personally, but I represent. Because I'm catching into the wrong. We are being called to the house because that particular person is doing the wrong. And you, but you see how easily perceptions are messed up. I told you how my perception was yeah. messed up, exactly. and I know it was messed up. And that's not the first time my perception was messed up. By the way, uh, I caught myself in a, in a it happens. It happens yeah. Job. Yeah. How long have you been doing it? Five. Five years. I started at a holder, which I think got, and I started going to work in the office. I remember the day when I was there. Life experience to go along with the job rather than starting right out of high school or at 21 when you don't know anything. Mm -hmm. And that's got to be hard too because you're being trained to be a certain type of way. And, you know, there's a lot of rumors too about, you know, things that are changing in our society and how the the police here are now militarized. Is that true? Y'all are it's like... we're militarized. We, we, we wear the uniform, they're, they're structured. Okay, you know, they, they have to wear a uniform a certain way. There's certain names that have to be up here too. Well, what we gotta do for certain teams, certain things that they teach us. Uh, as far as when we get here, somebody that's gonna hurt us, mm -hmm. there's certain things that we are allowed to do when that person goes to that certain point. Mm -hmm. And that's gotta be scary If too. it's a knife mm -hmm. towards me, I have the legal authority to take my gun on it because I did something perceived threat. Then I talk to different. They're gonna kill me. I'm gonna take out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if the person comes punching and punching, I, it's kind of the same. If, if that person goes to a level where they're choking me or, or they're trying to basically harm me to kill me, I can go to that level. You know what I'm saying? If, if there's, there's ways to go about everything. And that's you know, the, the citizens that are not in the military or don't have the, the experience of being out here in uniform doing what we do every day. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to think about it as a citizen, not as being a uniform for the best, dealing with the people that want to hurt you on a daily basis. You know how to handle a situation, it's just every situation is different. What if people don't want to hurt you, but it scares you, side. and you're just scared, you know? Or just, you know, like everybody else, yes, we get yeah. scared, my heart Thank you. <laughs> and it happens, mm -hmm. it's not, it, it wouldn't be normal for me to sit here and tell you I don't get scared. Mm -hmm. Of course you get scared, you're just not a, afraid to take action, you know what I'm saying? 
scary it is something that is natural something natural like if you came up with something with a gun you're going to be nervous at the same time i'm going to be nervous you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. yeah but it's just a natural thing all right well thank you this is my office friendly meeting no, <laughs> thank you, thank you. yeah because like I mean, I if you're near the area that, that's why i asked where you're coming mm -hmm. from a lot of people that come to this area I mean, but it could be it. why are you guys out here all the time it, what you said was a good thing, you know, like you're doing, you know, calm down, you're doing paperwork. <laughs> you might be doing paperwork yeah. or I'm you're waiting at the, my, you know, the shift and then you, know. you need a place to sit for a little bit. Yeah. I was just in a car and I was just waiting for the owner to come back, but never came back, so just Oh, for an owner for this place? No, it's not St. Peter Street. Oh, for an owner? Uh, the person that called Oh, something bad happened over no, there? No, it's just neighbor, neighbor. All right. Somebody heard somebody doing something no, no, bad. Property damage. See, I, I, you know, and then I ask a lot of questions. No, it's <laughs> it's, it's, it's not my business, but it's yeah. Property damage. Mm -hmm. One neighbor's blaming the other. Oh. Damage. All right. It's a really, 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 really old fence that if you just touch it, it'll fall. Yeah. So they could just agree to agree to help the poor older lady break the fence up. Oh. Thank you. That was very sweet. I really appreciate everything. No Have a good night.